We learn from each other, we share from each other, we grow from each other. And all these rules are just dividing us more and more, the 51-year-old said during a paper magazine interview released Wednesday. Stefani has faced decades of cultural appropriation accusations, from wearing a bindi, a South Asian religious symbol, in the 90s to her 2005, luxurious, music video, where she imitated Hispanic culture and seductively danced in an Our Lady of Guadalupe shirt. In 2012, Stefani donned Native American attire in No Doubt's Looking Hot music video, which depicted a cowboy's versus Indian fight with teepees and feathered headdresses. The group pulled the video and apologized for being hurtful and offensive. But the most serious claim of cultural appropriation came from the Japanese-inspired imagery Stefani used heavily on her 2004 album, Love. Angel. Music. Baby which birthed her no. One single, Hollaback Girl, and her Harajuku Girls entourage. Comedian Margaret Cho has compared Stefani's girl group of dancers of Japanese descent, which frequently accompanied the pop star in music videos and red carpet events, to a minstrel show. Racial stereotypes are really cute sometimes, and I don't want to bum everyone out by pointing out the minstrel show, she wrote in an essay in 2005. A Japanese schoolgirl uniform is kind of like blackface. Stefani disagrees with the long-standing criticism to this day. During her paper magazine interview, Stefani said people from different cultures can share. If we didn't buy and sell and trade our cultures in, we wouldn't have so much beauty, you know? Stefani said. We learn from each other, we share from each other, we grow from each other. And all these rules are just dividing us more and more. Stefani continued, I think that we grew up in a time where we didn't have so many rules. We didn't have to follow a narrative that was being edited for us through social media, we just had so much more freedom. The singer said her deep fascination with Japanese culture started at a young age when her father worked in Japan. He frequently brought home Sanrio toys and shared stories of epic street fashion in Tokyo's Harajuku district. Stefani said her first trip to Japan with no doubt in 1996 was a pretty big deal for me. She wanted to bring Japanese culture to the US, Stefani said, and one way was through her Harajuku girls, composed of dancers Maya Chino, Jennifer Kita, Rino Nakazwan and Mayuko Kitayama. I never got to have dances with no doubt. I never got to change costumes. I never got to do all of those fun girl things that I always love to do. So I had this idea that I would have a posse of girls, because I never got to hang with girls, and they would be Japanese, Harajuku girls, because those are the girls that I love. Those are my homies. That's where I would be if I had my dream come true, I could go live there and I could go hang out in Harajuku.